It is not the bee's touching of the flower that gathers honey, but her abiding for a time upon the flower that draws out the sweet. It is not he that reads most, but he that meditates most, that will prove the choicest, sweetest, wisest, and strongest Christian. Thomas Brooks If I could bottle up the smell of the spring rain for you, I would. As I sit here writing to you, the thunder claps outside my window and the tap 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 of the spring rain crescendos as the spring birds happily sing the joy of another day, a gift from their maker. This rain is exactly what the landscape needed, for as the storm drifts away, the sun is left in the skies, and the drops on the grasses are a beauty to observe. They look like crystals in a vibrant bowl of green. May brings life, happiness and color all around me. Hardly a day passes without a new bud in bloom or a migratory bird returning. Planting season has begun, as between the rains I plant a berry bush here and a fruit tree there. The hens happily peck away and seem almost as cheerful as me for the return of the spring. Helmer and Haina, our rabbits, absolutely love dandelions and feast away on them throughout the day. I'm thankful for the compost they provide for my vegetable beds and can't wait to finish seeding and planting. A fragrant blossoming scent fills the air and the lilac bush begins its bloom. I simply must collect some for the indoors. What beauty surrounds me, what feast of colors from the birds to the plants to the trees to the flowers. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. Psalm 19 verse 1 through 3. this letter finds you well, and come rain or shine, that you will rejoice in the day that the Lord has made. Until next time, Megan. <laughs>